Hey everybody, it's Mr. Thingamajigger. I am going to be writing a video walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Now the interesting thing about this game is that there are no bottles. If you're not a Zelda enthusiast, you would have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, I made a file called Link, and I'm just gonna point out some cool, cool stuff on the top screen. That's not really all that worth it. It's just this side-scrolling thing of certain things like uh, people of some sort, uh, other people of some sort. As you can see, it's sort of like a railroad tracks pattern. Okay. I just need to reposition. Okay. I think that's about good. Adventure! This is a tale from long ago. It's the tale of the first settlers of this land. In the beginning, the people followed the spirits of good, and all was peaceful. But that era of peace soon came to an end. The evil demon king rose to power, destroying everything in his path. The spirits of good had no choice but to face him in battle. The war that ensued seemed to last an eternity, and much blood was shed. Finally, the spirits subdued the demon king, though they could not destroy him. Their powers were greatly depleted. Awesome music. With their remaining power, they buried the demon king's spirit in the ground. They built shackles to imprison him and a tower that acted as a lock. These shackles cover the land to this day. With their power drained, the spirits of good return to the heavens. Suddenly, bereft of both demons and spirits, this land was entrusted to us. Okay, I'm sorry if it's moving so much. Strange position myself. Hmm, hey, it's a slideshow. Well, do I know how to tell a story, or what? I call it Spirits and Demons at War! I only do this show once a year, you know? It's a blasted masterpiece. A, uh, a, uh, a blasterpiece! Huh? What's this? You fell asleep during my magnum opus? No. There's our protagonist, Link. He is the main character of all the Zelda games. Well, besides Zelda, as you can tell by the title. I can't believe this. You know, Link. A lot of people would love to be in your position. As my roommate, you get to see my work for free. Sorry, I didn't do the old man voice. Plus, I'm not getting any younger here. That's, um, uh, actually Nico from Wind Waker. If you have a good eye. This is like third generation after Phantom Hourglass. Because I'm, uh, Linebeck the Third is in here. I'll get on about him later. Plus, I'm not getting any younger here. This story might be the only thing that proves I existed. Can't you pay attention for one minute? And listen to an old man's final creation. Uh, are you listening to me, Link? Whatever you tap, it's gonna have the same reaction. Uh, okay, okay, I can take a hint. Sorry for bothering you. Look, here comes your mentor. Hello there, Alfonso! Alfonso is the reincarnation of Gonzo from Wind Waker, I believe. Why are you still here, Link? Come on now, wipe the sleep out of your eyes. This is funny. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Today is a very important day, you know. That's your audience with the princess. What? Ugh. Don't tell me you forgot. You won't amount to much if anything if you don't pay attention. <laughs> He's still dizzy. Don't you want your engineer certificate? Well, the graduation ceremony is at the castle. Princess Zelda herself is going to do the honors. 
I'm heading to the station now, so meet me there. Remember, the station is up the road. Don't get lost. Got it? Good. And get a move on. Okay, I'm gonna have a fail moment right here. See you later, Nico. Uh, Cutscene over. Today is the day you graduate from an apprentice to official train engineer. It's quite an honor, and you mustn't be late. Use the stylus to touch where you want to go. It's as easy as that. To talk to someone or use an object, just tap what you're interested in. Now off to the castle with you. Scoot. Okay, so just move. This actually has a very awesome animation. Me being a, a, um, a programmer myself, I know that this is awesome animation. Incredibly awesome. Okay, here you can sort of look at his picture. There's a telescope, which you actually had in Wind Waker. A, um, uh, there's the pirate shape in Wind Waker. You can also double tap to roll. There's a chimney. There's actually a part from Phantom Hourglass. It's like a propeller. Now you can pick up these pots and you can throw them at Nico actually for hearts. And of course that almost glitched and I couldn't get that heart. But hearts aren't really important right now. What is important is that we get to the train station where Alfonso is. Aboda Village. And if you're smart, you know the word. Aboda Village comes from the word abode, which means home. Just a little Zelda trivia. Okay, if you really want to read the sign, it says Link in Nico's house. Okay? There's just doves. In, the, uh, in Phantom Hourglass, it was seagulls. Now... In Phantom Hourglass, you could slash the grass, but apparently you don't have a sword. You can pick up boulders and throw them at the doves, but you can't throw very far, apparently. Let's talk to this, uh, postman-ish sort of looking kid. Hey, Link, today's your graduation ceremony, right? How can someone who can't even do a somersault be a train engineer? If you, if you can be an engineer, I bet anyone can do it. If you want to prove me wrong, just roll, go roll into that tree over there. Just tap the screen rice to... Okay, if you really, really want to do this. Okay, I'm gonna have an ultimate fail right here. Wahaha, you're such a klutz, Link. Why are you just standing there? Everyone knows that getting stung by bees hurt. When you see them buzzing, start running or throw yourself into the water. Stat. Bees are actually the hardest enemy in the entire Zelda game. Just throw yourself into the water. Okay, talk to this little jerk. Hey, don't get all bent out of shape. I was just goofing around. Let me give you something to make up for it. Here, take this. Ooh, Star Fragment. That's rare in my other file. You can find treasures like this all over the world. Try to get a whole bunch of them because something good happens when you do. He's just um, uh, hinting at Lineback the Third. Ooh, we got our first rupee. Rupee? Rupees? They are the currency in the Zelda series. And, uh... Well, uh, they're actually a currency in India, if I, if my memory serves me. Just another Zelda trivia. They actually get a lot of their stuff based on real life, like, hmm, when do you think the Zelda people would ever invent the train? It's so simple, it's so diabolically simple, that it's, like, genius. Okay, Spirit Tracks is a little bit more controlled than Phantom Hourglass because you can't sail in some random goofy pattern around rocks like you had to do in the uh, northwestern part so i'm just going to scribble on my computer screen because it fell asleep to take a quick look at the timer oh, wow my guess was pretty spot on yeah i can't see the timer oh well it'll do a little beluga like that okay I'm sorry, but I have to end the video right about here. This is Mr. Thingamajigger signing off. Signing. Signing off.